David, what do you see as the biggest challenge being a leader? If one looks at leadership today versus what leadership has been, um, we're living in a far more complex environment with far more rapid change, um, globalization, uh, social change, social media, what the, the, the mobile phone or the smartphone has done to society are pretty profound. So uh, I think one of the struggles in leadership, and, and remembering that we're in, in a, the consumer end of the market, um, which I think does add more complexity, is that, that, that running a complex adaptive system when people want everything to be stable, is it, it can be a challenge. You recently moved into a new purpose-built headquarters housing several hundred employees on Great Northern Way. How has that change helped you foster the kind of culture that you're looking for? We started driving uh, change in the culture of the organization uh, in 2012. And really with all these changes, you have to have people that are curious about the future, are able to understand this complexity and deliver great service and great product. So that started a, a while back, um, but really this building has enable, enabled us to accelerate that. And within the building, um, we've looked to do four things. The one is that it's important that our staff look and feel like our customers. We have to look and feel like the people we want to attract. So as you walk through the building, you'll see that active lifestyles is a huge part of this building. The second thing is we can no longer work in silos. So we wanted the, the whole organization to collaborate across all departments. And you'll see as you walk through the building, these, these meeting spaces in the central stairwell that drive people to get out of their desks and, and get together. Um, the, the third thing is we have to keep innovating for the future, and this is a very innov innovative space. That allow it, It's a very light, open building. That It's very creative in its nature that hopefully will allow us to be a creative organization. And the last one is that we've always done business in, in a very considered way. Uh, we've always considered our supply chain, the people that make our products, the externalities of our products, the impact of them, and our, our license to operate. And this building also reflects that in that it's an incredibly efficient building. We hope it's going to be a lead platinum building. Um, and it's right at the leading edge of, of sustainable building construction.